broadcast live. Yo, we out here with Zakwe, SA, you know, <laughs> in this mother. Um, welcome, my friend. I know, you're born, thank you. Thank sure, you. sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just with regards to the game, je, man, je. Yeah. Like, a lot has happened, you know? True. I almost feel like um, you almost like the pioneer yeah. of you, Zulu boy. Yeah. I like the pioneers of Durban hip hop. Yeah. I mean, would I be correct? From a mainstream, for us, all of us to plug into yeah. it. Is that, would, yeah. is that a true statement? Um. I believe so, man. Mm. Uh, although there's a lot of guys who paved the way for us, Tina, from Durban and from mm. KZN as a whole. But then, we took it from there and then Saif Vesela Pambid, you know. Yeah. Actually, now nah, Zulu boy, he's the one who paved the way for me, you know, mm. because I got signed through him. He co signed me to Babu Sepostole, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I can say that because now I'm a Bening, I said, you know. So, yeah, yeah man, yeah. I can say he's, the, he's more like the pioneer and then. Okay, okay. But like, what's your relationship with Zulu boy now? You're still cool? Yeah. Ah, too much, too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, you're too good, you're too nice. Like, if there's something wrong, you know, in Zagala, you're a you know, and I'm a you know what I mean? So, yeah, we good. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not going to say my people, 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 I'm not going to say my people. I don't, not at all, not at all. I'm not going to say my people, I'm not going to say my people. Yeah, it's a relationship. And then from then on, obviously, like, um, you're, you're almost like, I'd say, legacy of the people that you put in, like, about Duncan. Yeah, yeah. Um, Duncan, uh, mu mu music. Musicholic. Musicholic, music you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, Duncan has also gone and done his own thing, also, yeah. you know. Um, in that, just like that building, you know, with this, with the hip hop. But now, how are you choosing the people you work with? Because yeah. obviously, now, I think Durban also is bringing an amazing sound, you know. Yeah. I think yeah. the water, about A1 Wolf and everything uh, else. How are you choosing, like, the guys that you bring closer? Yeah. I think for me, it's. it's it's more like a calling, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, strike and you muzo, you know, because when I heard Duncan, he was within the group uh, for the 51, you know. And I called and I was like, I know, I want a law. Yeah. In King yeah. Ali, you know what I mean? When I heard uh, the m musicholic, you know, yeah. uh, it took me like a year to get to him because now I, I had to inbox him. Let's do something as this one goes. Can we work? You know, through yeah. through young carnival. You know, so yeah. for me, I think there's no uh, criteria in England. You know, it's just the calling and the feeling that you feel. Look, it's okay. Nangolo, lo mundung shy, lo mizenga pagat. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, it's just like that. I mean, but a lot of the guys you work with are very lyrically oriented. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Have can your ear break out of the sound? Can you hear something that's like it's just a good vibe? It's yeah. not lyrical. Um, and you can go, I can co-sign that. Yeah. Um, I, for me, it, starts, it all starts with the lyrics, man, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're, if you're from Durban, it's all about raw lyricism, you know. Mm -hmm. I can maybe hear somebody rapping on a whack beat and say, okay, Lo Udina, a producer, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But if a rapper is not good lyrically, then it's, it's, it's hard for me yeah. to even notice that I will use that. You don't even ah, hear the beat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, <laughs> ah, the beat comes very late. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, the lyrics start first and then the delivery and then messing against it's okay. Low young shy. Yeah. You know? yeah. When I, what inspired you to actually get into writing? Because yeah. you can rap, but getting into writing is also almost a thing on its own. Yeah. What inspired you to get into the writing and, and actually prioritize writing like that? Who yeah. inspires you? Uh, I've always been a poet, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe every rapper is a poet because mm -hmm. rap is rhythm and poetry, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, Bengu Mundo, who's more like 
or sell or sell no dear diary, you know, when when it's something that you go through, I just pen it down, you know, even though being echo those punchlines and whatnot, which mm. I learned along the way, you know. Mm. So um, I've always been somebody who pens his thoughts. Uh, for example, I think I think I took it from Itam Alam, you know. Mm. Uh, he's a doctor by profession, so Mundo says a palo name what in Nan, you know. So by I, my prescription. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know Pali no, no, no. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, man. So I think I took it from him, you know, and then I was because I was go pet center, go hip hop, you know, that's when uh, I learned Ubut okay, you know, which is what um, nowadays rappers lack, you know what yeah. I mean? Everybody wants to be a rapper, they forget that you have to be a fan first and just enjoy being a fan and learn, you know what I mean? Before you know, yeah, yeah. everybody believes that he's better than anyone, you know. Yeah. So for me, um, it's just to make sure that mom rapper you know, before you even get to that stage. Like we've been listening to you guys, you know what I mean? Yeah, when yeah. we were learning, I used to rap to Kuku Function every verse, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Cut yeah, and join. Yeah, so yeah. I think about the food before but rap. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's a key thing. I mean, like, how does your mouth talk to accept talk to it? I mean, it talks accept talk to colleagues like it talks for yeah. About yeah. from like, from who go about teach or teach like diploma. Teach. So you know, how did he feel when you were saying you are rapping? Did, I mean, I mean, like, did he does he understand though yeah. the the writing aspect that especially yeah. like a lot of rappers in your kind of realm kind of yeah. like um yeah. kind of get out there does he understand do you ever make him understand that at first um he was very understanding you know because you know yeah. and then when i when i dropped out of college mm. that's when the problem started you know yeah, um yeah. i remember i knew K master k master was here for like two years already uh, you know. yeah. um, then I knew I was here for like four months or so. Mm -hmm. And then I was here for you know, four yeah. yeah. And then I was here for like four months or so. And then I was here for like no exam, no exam, no exam. I was here for like four months or so. And then I was here for four months or so. And I was like, okay, I quit, but I have to make sure that. I make it here so that he, I can make him proud, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What color from lap? But now he's very supportive. Yeah, you know yeah. everything I do. Yeah, no buza. Man, figure kai and seven in them time. Yeah, no shabele lap. Yeah, he believes because yeah. no more rare papa. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. 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 very supportive. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. And now you've also got your own kid, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I see. I saw. You, I saw he was doing the promo. Yeah, he was doing the promo for the new album. For right? sure. Yeah. Um, who's on the album? Album, when's the album coming? Uh, it's dropping on the 6th of July. All right. Um, with features from so many profound rappers, you know. Mm. There's uh, there's Doggy T, there's Ma'i, uh, we brought back Mapa Puti, oh, wow. you know. Um, there's AB Crazy, so Ziabu, Yagashi, mm. Yagashi. But I wanted to focus on building the team IPN, you know. Yeah. Like Musicholic is on three, on three songs, mm. MPK is on two songs, there's Umzulu on like six songs, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, uh, when, we, we, when we were in studio, um, for like two, three months, I record the album, we, we used to uh, sit down and not listen to anything, no radio, no nothing, mm -hmm. you know. I recorded the album because what we hear on radio sometimes isn't what uh, the streets wants to hear, what mm -hmm. the people, what the hip hop lovers want to hear, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we forced to succumb to what's, what's happening right now, what, what's the in thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even my compiler, they tell you when, you when you're submitting something, they'll be like, okay, the sound is not the in thing right now, you yeah. know? I think uh, sometimes radio and, 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 and TV kill the music, you know what I mean? They mm -hmm. kill the creativity mm -hmm. and then it forces the record company to make you want to do something that's gonna work, you know what I mean? Instead of you doing what you do. Why, 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 um, you said Limpopo? Yeah. Why in, Limpopo? In, in Pumalang. Why in Pumalang? I know, I got a friend there, uh, Usia, uh, who has a house there, you know, yeah. so he was like, okay, I don't use this house, you guys can come through. So it wasn't a matter of saying, we won Pumalanga because of this and that. No, it was just in the house, and then we, we went there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got a sense though, I always say, I don't know whether, I think that um, it's one thing for us to always say the industry wants this, but 
I do feel that the industry kills musicians. It, 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 sure. it makes musicians forget they should make music. True, you man. You know, they true. try to become fit in a box. Yeah. yeah. Man, I, I did that with, with a single that I released, uh, Iriki. Hmm. When I heard the song on radio, I was like, I know, this is not me. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, I never even performed the joint, you yeah, know, because yeah. I felt like now I'm doing what I always tell people not to do, mm. you know, like doing you, never do what sells, sell what you do, you yeah, know. Yeah. So after listening to the joints and, and, and hearing it on radio, I was like, okay, this is not me, you know, even the video uh, with women and whatnot, that's not mm. what Zago is about, that's not what I represent, you know what I mean? Mm. But uh, it worked, Nalosos cards, you know, but... I'm sure that's how you got with somebody pregnant. These <laughs> <leopard women. laughs> ah, no, not at all, not at all. <laughs> yeah, man, so this album, man, is, is just basically about raw lyricism, mm. it's more Zagwe, you know. Um, I took time to release this album because I, I was learning how to play piano, the mm. bass, the drums, understanding music. Mm. Hence, I co-produced the whole album, you know what I mean? Mm. I was there when there was mixing, there was mastering, mm. uh, arrangements and whatnot. So mm. it's it's very close to my heart. I think yeah. it's the best work that I've done. Everybody says that when they're yeah. about to release, yeah. but yeah. I, I honestly feel like this is me. Yeah. yeah. Tell me how um, um, 17 came up, you know, just yeah. that. Um, I want to like, you know what we did with Seventeen with yeah. Squad Camp. Yeah. And the oldest question there, he needs Seventeen, you know. <laughs> and that, how, yeah. did, how does that, how does that even come up? Where did that yeah. come from? Well, the, like the the whole um, uh, uh, brilliant idea came with with Musicholic, you know. Mm. He was sending a voice note to X Y saying, "Can we do something that goes like cuckoo cuckoo ki ki ke ke you know?" Yeah. And then X Y didn't take up that part. He was like, "Okay, I'll use this as the lead of the beat itself," you know? Yeah. yeah so it wasn't like my joints as yeah. such, you know. And then when we performed the song uh, at Back to the City uh, two years back, Casper was there and 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 he sent me a DM and he was like, "Okay, if you haven't dropped that heat, man, the last song that you performed." Can you please put me on it, you know? And and Musicholic was like, dog, this is your song. Let's make it happen. That's how the feature came about. And then he, he sent the verse. He was busy, so I'll always appreciate what he did, you know, because he was busy up and down Peche, and he was like, okay, but I'll do it. Don't release the song, I'll do it, you know? That's how the feature came about. So, um, and then you got the, re how did you decide who to get onto the remix? Um, on the original, uh, there's a line where I say, uh, who does it better than Tswana no Makeba, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just got uh, three Tswana rappers and mm -hmm. three Zulu rappers. That's how the feature was actually orchestrated. Uh, like, nothing much, okay, you know? Okay. I was there when Double HP was recording his verse. It yeah. was crazy. He never wrote that verse. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. He was yeah. like two bars, four bars in. You know, and I was like, but we requested for eight bars. It was like, ah, man, no, man. Like, we've been wanting this feature, 16. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, 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 man. Uh, Black Lairs was the first one to send the verse. Mm -hmm. And then I was there when Pro was recording, and then the other guys sent their verses. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I think the hardest part was to, to actually mix and arrange the joint, you know. Yeah, it yeah, took, yeah. like, about a week, you know, in and out. X, Y, Z would send me, and I was like, nah, 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 this yeah, is not going to yeah. work. Can you take this guy, put him here? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. how it came about. That's dope, man. So, um, I mean, with regards to the album, you say you've got like, uh, you've got a couple of big names that you already have on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's the next single from 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 um, from there? Yeah. Uh, we've been test driving uh, more blessings, fit, fit Quester. Okay. And then. Um, on Imbandi, I did a song called General with DJ Dira. Okay. So now on this album, it's called General 2.0. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are the singles that we want to push now. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of songs that I really love and I believe that, that they, they can be singles, but it all, it all depends on what people feel and what mm -hmm. people like, you know. Mm -hmm. But this is what I like for now. So yeah. it's General 2.0 and then it's More Blessings, Fit Question. What's the name of the album? Uh, Kebisa. Kebisa. Yes, sir. And then, Kebisa, why? Uh, Kebisa is like, it's Tagazelo, Sagazawe, you know? Okay. Sagwe, Kebisa, Kechela, Tengen, Gomolili, you know? Uh, so I feel like it's... it's Kobega, Kobega. <laughs> I mean, it's a lili, lili. Uzago, Kebisa, Kechela, Tengen, Gomolili, Nyumjo, Lu, Tanga, Nisaba, Nisaba, Nangas. Yeah, man. So, um... Uh, I feel like it's a continuation from the first album, you mm -hmm. know, uh, 
where I was I was hungry, mm. didn't care what's happening right now. I just did me, you know. Mm, mm. Um, Impande was more of storytelling, you mm. know, uh, where I, I spoke about uh, celebrity life. Uh, I did a song with Zola Seven, with Zulu Paul, you know, it was mm, more authentic. Mm, mm. And then this one is more me, you know, mm. it's more musical out of what I've learned thus far, you know. So, Tebisa again means me giving you knowledge, you know. Tebisa, I'm going to go to you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, I, I, in, in another way, Tebisa means Ugum uh, Tebisa Nemali, you know, it, uh, uh. It, it means wealth, you know. Uh, so, uh. it's a J exchange, that's the guy. So, yeah, I'm giving yeah, yeah. you the, the, the knowledge, you're giving me the wealth. It's about yeah. time they pay for the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. I see that. That's dope, man. So, Right now, I mean, this album is coming through Universal. You still have yeah. Mapala, although Mapala now says like the, well, I don't know, the newspapers say that they're yeah. not functioning anymore. What's the situation with like uh, Zakwe, Mapala, Universal? What's happening there? Um, the album was, was created at Itoti by Nature, you know? Mm. And then the company that I'm signed under is Mabala Noise. So Mabala Noise was like, okay, uh, we're not really into this that much. So we'd, we'd, we'd prefer to give it to the guys and take it international and whatnot, mm. you know what I mean? So we're releasing it under Universal, but I'm still signed to Mabala Noise. So okay. that's the relationship. So Mabala Noise is a recording label or yeah. management or company still exists? Yeah, still, they still manage Zagwe and, and, and they do events. And mm. yeah, man, there's still artists there too. There's El Volvo, there's myself, there's the boys, Jalon Okay, yeah. okay. So, okay. So, I mean, that reads the rumor that they not yeah. a recording label. Ah, no, not at all. Okay, cool. So, basically, with this album, um, I'm with the game in Durban. Today, with, with so much happening, yeah. we're looking for this representation, because everybody's saying that the world is looking at us. We're looking at this representation of, um, of this aspirational global sound and this local sound yeah and i think java literally was a uh, was was a great example of um of what happened with the bet what, what were your thoughts on that i mean just him winning do you even have a relationship with him uh well see as i know you know um we're not too close because australia you know yeah, but yeah. must banana you know? yeah, yeah. So I'm very excited for Java, you know. He did the things that the pots are what's what, what yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I'm very excited because he's true to himself, you know, mm -hmm. which is very important because when we take our sound uh they have to understand what's happening now, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That as follow Ogun Zwe Bona, even even from the from what he wore, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So and even when how he was talking, you know, yeah, man. So now I'm in Gabon, I'm going to Zulu in Jenamani, I'm going. Yeah, I think in Gabon, even in Gabon, what's your Gabon? Among other things, say at least like, um, it's not a guy from Joba, it's not yeah. a guy from Afghanistan, it's not a guy from Katlehong. Yeah, it's actually a guy from Guazu. Yeah, yeah. Gakulu, Gakulu, Epicville, Minangboya Pants, and Singa, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, man, I'm, 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 I was touched, you know, yeah. born with Umtulowe Teswenzayo, and what he does is recognized abroad. Mm -hmm. And South Africa was actually behind him. I believe yeah. all the artists, you know, were tweeting, mm -hmm. um, uh, vote for Java, you know, mm -hmm. I tweeted too. So, yeah, man, big up to the guy, man. Big what does it respect. say, though, for you with, when you start doing your, your approach of music, when you see the, the opportunity that our sound brings? Because yeah. we all know Java can also spit, yeah. you know. True. But like now as an artist, what does it say to you um, in the approach of music moving forward? I mean, what lessons does that give us as South African artists, specifically you, Les Zulu, yeah. and, and like there's this whole thing where Zulu being Sutu, yeah. these are all cultures. Yeah, yeah. You know, how do we bring the hip hop culture in our culture and how do we actually, I mean, how do we bring the hip hop culture into our cultures and yeah. then take it out to people, yeah. packaged as yeah. Nai, you know? Yeah. I think the the greatest example will be Uzulu Poi, mm. you know, what he did mm. uh, working with uh, the legendary, the late uh, Ubabu Pegu Yeah. You know, he brought that sound that made everybody believe that Gasha Gasha, no more if it sounds nice, music is a universal language, mm. you know. Mm. 
nothing up as Yazama because I did a joint with uh, Ubabu Johnny Clark, you know. Oh, yeah. We did a joint titled Isn't Isa, you know, mm. when you, we, 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 uh, the song is just straight up Zulu, you know. Yeah. So it's very important for the on, next um, generation. On, um, on, on Ban. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's That's very, legendary. Yeah, I know. Thanks, you know? thanks, man. Thanks. It's very important for for us to, to bring in the words Akulunya Makaya. Uh, it's all Ital and Jalon Jalo, so that mm. when you listen to the song, Umundongas will be like, What is this now? now? Mm. What is this? You know what I mean? So, you, you, you're educating people about your language, and no matter what you're saying, but you're saying that language is cool, but as much as you're saying, but it's very important, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I'm going to show you, you know, 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 so. It's very important to go to language here to see coolies and ayo in Nanzit, you know, and, and let the industry know about our language and what we believe in and Nizinda Zenzagalayo and let the people know, you know. So, yeah, it's very important. So, now, Zakwe, yeah. you got a kid, yeah. you're on your third album. What do you want to leave? What do you want to leave us with? You know, what, what, yeah. do you, what do you want your kid to go, this is what my father left you guys with? What do you want to leave in wrapping up? Yeah, uh, I always educate people with my music, you know. Uh, like 50% of the album is, is, is knowledge, you know. Mm. So I read books, figure cards, and make sure that I'm going to learn what's happening. So I'm going to go to the island and what's happening. I'm going to go to the island to be like a landmark to say, okay, so they understand we live in, in poverty or this is where hip hop is right now. We're talking about something that's happening now. Now they'll listen to Zagwe, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, for me it's just for people to know Guti Zagwe has always been honest and true to himself. And usfundi say ugut no good no good no good, you know. Yeah. And what's the future of Durban hip hop in your opinion? I think it it all depends on on the media, you know. I believe that the media is pushing us so much to do what sells, you know what I mean? Uh, if given a chance, umtulo we to lo and then Nati, I'll blame us, you know, when it comes to good music, you know. Uh, you know. So the Alpha Miganjalo, you know, it's not too strong. So I believe that hip hop, Abafu it was should get producers. Artists are nothing without producers. Mm. You know. Uh, you need somebody who's musically inclined to, to, to listen to you and make you a beat. A control would say, okay, this is what you need to do. Now you're rapping too much. You know? So if we can get the music right because um, the lyrics are there. If we can get the music right, the good PR, the future of Durban hip hop will be. Nah. What do you think about the kids in what are the, what do you want to say to the kids in Durban? Because I've been in Durban and I've seen a lot of kids are trying to break. Yeah. Um, they always like encounter the challenges of radio. What are you saying to them to kind of keep going? And I mean, obviously you came in in a different time, yeah. you know, through a Zulu boy, through yeah. labels. Um, what advice are you giving? Are you gonna give them like the kid in Durban who's yeah. saying, you know, there's no way out there for yeah. us unless I'm in Jogo. Yeah. Um, I believe there's no there's no formula to this, man. You know, except when I'm in charge, I need to ask you. It's not just what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it because they've been doing it, but I got to go. You know, yeah. so they shouldn't give up. Uh, make sure that you, you you focus a lot on making music. Mm collaborating with artists because you'll never know which long sevens and exon tatagum baby. I collaborate a lot with unknown artists, you know, because if you dope then we work. You know, no matter about the bezo say uh say we le manologa sevens and eight doan and jalonja, you know, for me, kung chablisa nga pagasi because I'm more of a person or chachuliso bono muni munte chabul, you know. So abafo is ni fisang as to be a focus more on on internet and pushing for PR, although in Mali, but if you want to in Dabayako, I'm sure Konos will be there, you know. Yeah. Yo, Ingaeba. Yeah. Exactly, the album, the album is out. Ingaeba, get it on iTunes. Lebisa. Lebisa. Yeah, yes, sir. Lebisa. Yes, Lebisa is out on iTunes. It's Tagazelo Sake. Yeah. I mean, you just said it. K 
can play it on repeat, you know. <laughs> um, it's a dope album. Um, yeah. I would have I would have loved to have spoken to you singing Zwili. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, I really understand. wanted to get into it more than yeah, anything, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, it's out there. We're going to get it when it pops Friday, sure, you sure. know. I'm sure I can, we can send it earlier, you know. Oh, send it yeah, earlier. It's a must, it's a send must. it earlier. I'd love to hear it, you okay, know what I mean? No, no problem, okay. Yo, we out here. Get the album, Zakwe. One of the original, original lyricists from Durban. One of the first few pioneers, you yeah. know, who opened up the mainstream before we heard of shout out to Dream Team, before we shout out, heard out of shout out to WTF. Shout out to everybody that's doing it, but like A1 Wolf, but he's one of the first few that actually yeah. broke it and, and made it happen. And we said, oh, the cats in Durban rap too. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? True, true. So shout out to that, yeah? yeah I know. Nice Thank one. Zakwe, in this motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> Broadcast live.